What's going on guys? Randy here with another unboxing. We got a CGC box of 10 and we're going to get right into it. Those of you that are new, you know what to do. Watch the video, then you want to subscribe, then you want to hit the like button, all that other good stuff. Appreciate you here right now. And that's it. We're going to get right into it. my little device oh device is ready for use this was here in the house my god and I use it as my package opener pretty cool all right so we're gonna get right into it guys as usual all right what do we got here we have sorry for the glare we have Sandman number one uh, first appearance of Morpheus, Wesley Dodds cameo. This is a Neil Gaiman story, Sam Keith and Mike uh, Dringerberg art, Dave McKean cover, baby. Uh, if you guys did not watch the show, watch it. It was amazing. I loved it. Uh, definitely in sync with the comics. I read the comics. If you haven't read the comics, read the comics. Then watch the show. You'll love them both. Uh, what did we get? Oh, 9-6. Not bad. Not bad. Trying to get this in a 9-8. Nine six white. Love that cover though. All right, next up we have Detective Comics five seventy six Batman Year Two storyline. Mike Barr story. Tom McFarlane art and cover with Paolo Marcos and Alfredo Alcala. 9-8, baby. 9-8, white page. All right. Let's see, maybe I'll put it higher up. Let me try to get it from this side. A lot easier for me to cover the grade, I think. Yeah, it's because I'm in my kitchen. There's a lot of light. All right, you see the cover, guys. This is ASM 256. First appearance of Puma, Thomas Fireheart, Black Hat, and Rose appearance, baby. 9-6. Oh, so close. Uh, Tom DeFalco story, Ron Friends, and Joe Rubenstein cover and art. So close to a 9-8. Probably would have kept the 9-8. All right. We have Secret Wars number one. <clears throat> Secret Wars number one. Nine four white. Jim Shooter story. Uh, Mike Zach and John Beatty are Mike Zach cover. Nice book. Guys, you already know uh, we do the cover price sales data. So as we get through all these books. Voltron, number one, uh, 1985. We've uh, definitely sent in a bunch of these. Oh, that's good, baby. Let's go. Henry Vogel story. Dick Ayers art. Jim Fry and Mark McKenna cover. A 9-8. We did not get a 9-8 of this. Uh, I think we got multiple 9-4s, maybe a 9-6, but not a 9-8. Beautiful. Beautiful book. Okay. Cover to grade. We have ASM 299. This is a newsstand. Guys, you probably see this at least one of these in almost every video. A 299, a 298, even a 300. Venom cameo, chance appearance, newsstand, McFarlane. Let's go, baby. Oh, woo! let's go, let's go, guys, a 9-8 newsstand, Dave uh, Michelini story, Dave, uh, Tom McFarlane and Bob McLeod art, Todd McFarlane cover, guys, this is amazing, we've been hitting good, we had the 9-8 ASM 300, before that, we had the ASM 298 newsstand, 
Two of them, and now a 299 newsstand, guys. Whew, that is gorgeous. Guys, these will be available for purchase. If you are interested, message me on all social media platforms. Is this the last one? Uh, two more. This is Infinity Inc. 14. We've done a bunch of these. We did get a 9.8 before, a couple 9.4s. First Todd McFarlane published cover, second full Todd McFarlane storyline, 9.6. Nice. Nice. All right, we have another Infinity Inc. Same deal. First Todd McFarlane published cover, second full Todd McFarlane. Todd McFarlane storyline. 9 8, baby. Nice. That's our second 9 8 we got. Let's keep it going. White page. Uh, Roy Thomas story. Tom McFarlane and Tony De Zuniga cover and art. I think we got one more left. Okay, and this is another one. Another Infinity Inc. 14. 9698. 96. Alright. So that was, was that 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That was a 9. Okay. Let me see my sheet. Oh, okay. First time this happened, this is, uh, wow. Okay, so look at, they sent back a book, and it says rejected. Uh, I'm going to see why. Reason book was rejected, overhang. So is that the cover? This is easily a nine six nine eight candidate, and it's a newsstand. I didn't know that. I didn't even know that uh, was a thing. Even if that affected it, why? Why wouldn't they grade it? If that was a defect, then it didn't count. But according to CGC standards, you could have two minor defects for it to still get a nine eight. So I don't know. That's weird. But you can see there, guys, right there. First time. So, I don't know. I guess I'll have to sell it raw. That's crazy. Well. Alright. If you guys are all done and you're dipping out, uh, thanks for st stopping by. We're going to go over the cover price, sales data, and all that good stuff. Don't forget, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. All right, so I can't give you the sales date on this because I don't know what it is raw. All right, so we're going to start backwards. We're going to start with the two. The two Infinity Inks. We got two nine sixes, both white page. Uh, fair market value for each individual one is $101. For the nine six, we have Infinity Inc. fourteen and a nine eight, three hundred and eight dollars. Not bad, not bad at all. We'll save the big boy for last. All right, we have. Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars 1 in a 9-4, $79. We have Sandman 1 in a 9-6, $343. The 
Detective Comics 576 in a 98, $126. ASM 256 in a 9.6, $72. Right. Voltron number one in a nine eight three hundred and fifty six dollars. And last guys but not least, ASM two ninety nine nine eight newsstand edition. Oh the dogs they're giving me my drum roll. Newsstand edition two thousand one hundred and sixty dollars, guys. That's a banger. That's a banger. So, guys, I appreciate you stopping in, watching the video, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think about the books. I think we did pretty good. Uh, overall, uh, prices are pretty fair, decent, and all that good stuff. So, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, share, comment, like, down below, all that good stuff, guys. Till next time. Peace.